Hello and welcome back to my Kerbal Space Program series. Um, since you've been gone, it's a terrible song. Since you've been gone, I hate that song so much. I don't know why I said that. But since the last time, <laughs> I've um, I reloaded up one of my old rockets. This is the orbital one that I made. Uh, uh, sorry, it's the moon one I made. Uh, it's only gone into orbit, but I just thought this would be good to make sure we definitely get an orbit. Um, I'm gonna put a satellite into space. Um, I'll put a, a satellite dish on it. This comes out as a satellite dish, which I don't know if we can open it. Can we open it? There we go. If it does that and it blinks lights. I don't know. But yeah, that comes out into space, and I've added some stuff into the service bay. So we've still got some mystery goo in there, uh, a bunch of the barometers, thermometers, and a bunch of extra batteries for extra um, stuff. Um, it's probably isn't going to come back down from space. It's going to stay up there unless we delete it, which we might be able to do, but I think it's kind of cheating. This is going to be an unmanned pod, so if it breaks, it doesn't really matter. The only thing is, I don't think we get SAS with the Sputnik. That's the only issue I've got with it. So it's going to be difficult to manoeuvre, if I can manoeuvre it. Um, I'm going to say, I call it orbital, because I want to try to do the rendezvous thing in space. With just two unmanned space things, so it's not so difficult to do them. Um, so let's launch it. I did that blink. Staging again. I always press start, then I remember. Like, why don't I remember before I press start? Sure, it should be okay. No, it's not. Okay, so we need to get this one down. Then they go off. That one goes. That one goes on. That one. So there's no parachute on it. Uh, because I put the anten an antenna on there, we can we have to beam the results back down to this Earth rather than the other way around. See, I can't put my SAS on. Okay, so let's see how this goes. It's probably going to be bad. I might have to revert back and do some changes, but let's just find out. Actually, let's do for all that. Don't do that one. Okay, so we're going to just need a normal 90 degree orbit. I need to get the orbit very similar to the previous one. No, as well, as accurate as I possibly can to 90 degrees. Because that's the route we're going to take around from here 90 degrees around the planet. Drag, sign. I don't know how to maneuver. They might, might not even be able to maneuver this. Like, I don't know. Okay, it's an EMT. It's like throwing up a little bit. Hi. I've got no maneuverability of this whatsoever. Okay. Oh my god, I can't just spin in. Yeah, I can't do anything. I didn't know it was that bad. Wow. Absolutely nothing. I can't do anything. We're not going to get an orbit with this. I can't do anything. Okay. Well, what that means is, if we revert flight, we'll go back to vehicle assembly. I didn't want to do this, but we might put people into space because we don't have. We haven't unlocked the thing that's actually got SAS on it. Okay. So what we're going to do? We're going to go back. I'm going to have to hide on a pilot, though, I think. Because I'm only going to need two pilots into space. Okay. Right, who can we? Who can we get? Stupidity. Why is the stupidity so high? Why is that a thing? Okay, who's a good? Who's a good pilot? They've got a lot of courage. Lufrid. Should we get Lufrid? Okay, we've got Lufrid now. Higher, oh, costs a lot of money to hire them. Okay, well, we've got Lufrid now. It's available. So. Oh, what to do? Okay. Let's go to the launch pad. Can we open up something we did ages ago? Orbital. Maybe that one will be okay. Get out of here, Bill. We want Lufrid now. Oh no we don't, we want Valentina. Do a Lufrid on the next one. Actually no, let's do a Lufrid on this one because it's a test flight and if it works again we'll get, we'll get um, Valentina on it. This one's an orbital one, it's only 30 parts. Then I did the moon orbital one because it's it's, it's a lot bigger and it's got all the science on it. Okay let's just try this. Let's see how this goes. I don't know why it's called moon orbital because we didn't orbit the moon but I think we went to the end, just in a fly pass. Okay. Revert flight. 
revert to vehicle assembly. And this went wrong. I need to add all this extra new science stuffy in it. Stuffy? All the new sciencey sciencey stuff is what I meant to say. I've actually said it. Okay, so move. How are we doing? Have I got the heat shield on here? I do. Okay. I need to take that off. There we go. And we need to put science junior on there. There we go. Heat shield back on just in case. I I don't think we're gonna need it, but Oh, we are going to need it, aren't we, now? Because we're going to bring them back. Okay. Cool. I think this is a great idea because these only cost like 400 each, these parachutes. It's just like a certain way of making sure we can definitely get down. Uh, some struts on. Like so. Okay. Right, that should be okay. Uh, science stuff. Let's see what's in there. Zoom in. Okay, we don't need any more goo. Put one in there. Don't know if that's spread out either. Get out of here. Uh, need some more batteries on it. I haven't put them on the, on the roof like before. Oh, we don't actually need these because we're, we're taking them up. No, we'll take some more just in case because I know it still uses um, battery power with the SES. So we'll do that. Uh, we've got some barometers which we're going to need. Come in. That one in just in case. There we go. And put another thermometer in in case we need that. Right. Close. And then we'll add the rocket on. Like so. Okay, so that should be a decent orbital craft there. Should be very easy to put that into orbit. No. Just quit orbital. Save. Orbital. Oh, God's sake, game. Come on. Orbital 1. Okay. Save. Right. A staging, I remembered. Did this, there, then that to go off. That one to go off. That one to go on. That's the couple. That's. Okay. Save. Go. Finally. Right, let's launch this thing. So, extra sciencey stuff to, uh, to test out. Now, do we actually have a barometer from the ground? We don't. There we go. Oh, does it change at night time, do you reckon? Let's have a look. It doesn't. I thought it might change because it's night time, but it doesn't. There's actually lost so many ways of firing science. Some... Oh, for God's sake, why does Bill keep going? Is there a way to stop it from doing that? It's so goddamn annoying. It really is. Oh, just recover the vessel, like Jesus Christ. Why is it always Bill? I'm recovering it because I've got a bit of extra science, so I'll have to do it again. Look, so you've kicked on this, enter. Let's do it this way now, do I? Every single time. What was it called? Orbital, Orbital 1. Go away, Bill, we want this guy in it. Go. Launch. That's so hard. Okay. Alright, SES on. These are all fine. Right, let's go. Fine, it's down boots. Night time launch. So we need to make sure we're dead on the 90 mark. Speed up, there we go, I'm gonna start getting out of drag, burn up a bit. Tilt the whole wrong way. Okay, start throttling up a little bit. Ready to deploy now. Bye. Okay, start going. Don't tip it over, don't topple over. Don't topple over. What's going on? What is going on? Jesus. Okay. Okay. Well, that worked well, didn't it? Why are we spinning? I've got SES on. Go the wrong way. Like a 
complete wrong way. Come on. Let's try again. There is no apple outside, so we need to keep burning to actually get into space. Is there a chance of doing any sort of science while I'm up here? Well, crash into space, crashing into like back into Earth. Doesn't like it. Okay, it's just getting to an orbit. Oh, Jesus, I knew it was so hard. Still waiting on the apple outside. Come on. I'll try and get it to about a hundred thousand. <laughs> that couldn't be any more perfect. It's going to go down though because we're still getting pulled down with the gravity at this, uh, this moment, so... Okay, I think we're in space. So let's get on to the 90 mark because that's where we're going to want to go full throat in a bit. Right. Oh, they burn up a bit. That's fins. Can we do an EVA? Is there any science worth doing? Have we done a barometer in space yet? Have it's fine. I think we've done all the Bromus missions there. Things now. Okay, are we at the peri uh, apoapsis yet? No. Let's get there then. I do. Start throttling up. That's jets in this now. Bye. Right, we should be able to get in orbit quite easily with this little bit of fuel. It's not dead on the 90 degree mark though. Let's burn up a little bit, it should be falling down now, yeah. Come on. Plenty of fuel. Do this easily. It takes its time. It's, that's the only thing with this engine. It's really slow. Okay, I should be able to the periapsis. There it is. And bam. Okay, we'll go to. Let's just. Don't do any more. Okay, it might be 110 then, our orbit's gonna have to be. We're in an orbit, that's good. Let's go back, let's just spin all the way around the planet until we get to the apoapsis and get this leveled out roughly the same. Not sure it's exactly 90 degrees, but it's close enough. We can always change if we have to, but I think it's pretty much spot on. We're gonna try and rendezvous with this, like I said I was gonna do. It's, it's, it's gonna be tricky, but we might be able to do it. Spin this all the way around. Oh, too fast. It's so hard to stop it. Come on. Right, speed things up a bit. We want to get to about 110, so shouldn't take much. Get 
get me close to the apoapsis, like so. So that way it doesn't move. There you go. That's probably the most perfect orbit you can probably get. <laughs> okay. Right, let's see if there's any tests we can do well, while we're here. Can we do a crew report? Don't need to. We've done all this before, just, just double checking. EBA. Okay, we've never done that before. Right, should we let go? Let's do it. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Could be R RS on, Maybe RCS or whatever it's called. Can we st oh, I need to go back up. Can we store the. We need to store it. Hang on, come back. Did I get it? I got it, okay. Now I'll do an EVA report. I've got eight more sites. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. I just want to do it over the. Uh, over some land, it looks a bit boring over. Speed things up so I get closer now. There we go. It's actually quite difficult to maneuver this guy. That's cool though. What's this guy's name again? I can't remember Lufrit or something, wasn't it? Cool. Alright, let's try and get him back in now. There we go, forward. Oh. Experiments you've connected cannot be stored. Really? Why not? annoying. Okay, we'll do it with the next guy. Okay, so let's just get in. Store experiments. Oh, no, sorry, what do I do? Press B. I'm just have to board anyway. Dump experiments. Ugh, it's a bit weird, but okay. That's fine. So, we're going to have to leave him up here and go back to the space center. 